Hey everyone, I am Zoeb Khan and I am a front-end engineer. In this video, we will make a simple loading service in Angular using RxJS and then go on to add an HTTP interceptor to automatically show a loader on all our network calls. But first, why do we need a loading service? Well, in any web app, there are times when you need to tell the user that some process is going on. Usually it is network calls, but could be other background work as well. Since you can need it anywhere on the app, we need to have a global way to do it. In Angular, services provided in the root are the best for this purpose because they are instantiated when the app loads and they retain their state till the app is destroyed. So let's start with creating such a service. Uh, we'll start a new project with Angular CLI which we already have done here and we're going to give more space to the code here. Uh, let's generate a new service called loading with ng generate service loading. Great. Let's go into our service. With our new service, let's declare a behavior subject to contain our loading state. Now, a subject in RxJS is an observable which can have more than one subscribers. A behavior subject is a special type of subject which saves the current value as well and emits it to all its subscribers. In this way, it's perfect to store some piece of state in our app. So let's declare and give it a name of uh, loading and make a behavior subject here. Our state here will be either showing the loader or hiding it. So we'll use a boolean value and an initial state we'll give it will be false. Next, we'll expose a loading observable so that our parent component can access the state. This is a protection against using the behavior subject directly because we want the state to only change from the service methods. Let's make it public read only and expose and make it as this dot underscore loading dot as observable. Last, we'll just add two functions, one for hiding the state and one for uh, showing the loading state. And we use the next function to set the current value of the loader. So let's create the show function, it would be this and dot underscore loading dot next, this would be true and hide would be this dot underscore loading dot next and that's it for our service. Now let's quickly test this out. We'll first add the angular material library to it so that we can add some UI elements. We'll use ng add, add angular material. We're going to select indigo pink here and we're going to select the typography styles with this. Yes, we need the animations. And we'll join you afterwards. Great, Angular Material has installed. Now let's go to our app.module file and uh, import the mat toolbar module, the mat progress spinner module, and the mat button module in our app module. Okay, so we are adding the imports for the toolbar module the progress spinner module and the button module and we'll just add it to the imports array. Now in our app component we are going to uh, add the mat toolbar first. We are going to give it a color of primary and we are going to add our mat progress spinner to this now. Uh, we are going to keep the mode as indeterminate because we are not going to show the uh, a stepwise progress load and we also need to add a bit of styling to it so let's see it uh, to show it in the middle of the screen so let's just target the mat progress spinner directly here and we are going to make its position as absolute we are going to make the top as 50% and left as 
and uh, we're going to use a little trick to transform this into half of its width so that we can truly center it okay and we're going to give it a z index of uh, something more than one so that it's on top of everything else okay so let's test this out now and let's here yes, let's make ng serve and great we can see a progress spinner at the correct position now and this is right in the center and um, but we need to link it up with our loading service so we'll create a variable here and but before that I think we should include the, uh, the loading service in our constructor so we're just going to call it as loader we're just going to import like this and then the loading uh, uh, variable that we uh, have here would be just the same loading variable that we have uh, in our loading service and we are just going to uh, use an ngf directive to uh, link it up um, to show this uh, element only when loading is true and not when loading is false and we are using the async pipe uh, so that it's going to subscribe and unsubscribe from this observable uh, implicitly okay great now let's also add some simple buttons to show and hide uh, the loader uh, so that we can test this out uh, let's add a button here uh, which will be a mat trace button and we are just going to call it show loader and another word here which will be we call as hide loader okay then we are going to um, use okay let's just link it up in the template and for that we'll have to make this a public uh, declaration here and we're just going to call here like loader dot show okay and make this loader dot height sorry this height okay so let's test this out now okay so when we do show loader okay it shows up we do high loader so that our service uh, this means is working so now we know uh, how to manually show and hide the loader whenever we need in any, any of our components however there is a problem if you have lots of components with api calls in each of them it becomes a bit repetitive to show and hide the loader before and after calling the apis since the vast majority of apps need a loader only when making network calls we can automate this process so for that, Angular provides a nifty way called an HTTP interceptor. HTTP interceptors basically intercept all network calls using the HTTP client in Angular and we can use it for a variety of purposes such as adding an authorization token etc. Here we can also use it to show and hide the loader automatically whenever an API call is made. This will save us a lot of time and make our code in our components much simpler. So let's use the ng-generate interceptor command to create an interceptor interceptor and we'll call it as network because it intercepts the network great let's get uh, and see what the interceptor looks like okay so here we are given an intercept function as you can see which is called whenever an API call is made from the HTTP client let's include the loading service in our constructor and then show the loader when the intercept function is called so when the intercept function is called we're just going to show the loader here when does the API uh, end uh, this happens after the next dot handle request so we're just going to add a pipe here and we are going to use uh, an operator called finalize now finalize is an rxjs operator 
uh, which will have to include from here slash operators and this is going to this is going to call whatever we specify in this function uh, whether the result from the API call is uh, success or failure so it covers both cases so we're using this one operator so here we're just going to hide the loader great so whenever an API call is uh, starts the loader will start and when the API call ends either in success or in failure the loader will hide the last thing that we need to do is to tell angular about the interceptor we do this by specifying the interceptor in the HTTP interceptors token in the providers for our app. Let's do that now. So let's provide the HTTP interceptors token and let's use use class and specify our interceptor here and we are also going to use multi is equals to true. Uh, also let's uh, add the HTTP client module in our app.module so that we can use the HTTP uh, client module to fetch uh, then in our template we are going to add uh, with the space we are going to add a button and we're going to call a function which we still have to make called fetch user and we are going to call API Great. and we are going to add the fetch user function here uh, we have to first include our HTTP client here and let's just HTTP dot get now for the URL we are going to add uh, this URL that I uh, which gets the JSON for my uh, username on github we just use it to test the API call and we don't need to do anything we are just going to log it on the console great so all of this is set up now if the interceptor is working fine this should automatically show the loader when the network call is in progress. Let's see if this works. Okay, yes. We can see the loader appear and disappear and we also have uh, the output in our console if we look at, at it here. Great. So now we have a structure for our apps where we can show a loader automatically when a network call is made and also manually whenever we need it in our component using the um, loading service. I hope you liked this video and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.